I want to share with you a bit of history about our school. The Bluefields Basic School is situated in the parish of Westmoreland, Bluefields community to be exact, and Bluefields community has over 10 districts, Belmont being the largest district in the Bluefields community. And we are situated here in Belmont. This school started in the early 1950s, 1953 to be exact. And we have our records which state that. We're up, we're up in Jamaica, Judy. 1953, with this lady that you've seen on the screen, Frances Weatherburn. She started that school over in Brighton, the district of Brighton and it later moved to Belmont here, right down where we call Creek or Creek. And it's called Creek because of that stream that runs through under the bridge and going across to the sea, right? So that's where it was for many, many years. When the school started with Miss Francis, we had only one main building which holds all age groups, three to four, four to five and five to six year old students. I'm a past student of that school and a proud past student of that school, if I may say. So Miss Francis had worked tirelessly to build our school in the, on the picture there you'll see Miss Dryden, Erica Dryden, a past teacher, and you'll see Constance Palmer all, as well, another past teacher and some students that you see there. These students are much younger than I am, but we're happy that to have these photos of Miss Francis. And so our school continued to progress with the aid of our many partners. You'll see me there with my group of four-year-old students. That would be way back in 1997, I think it was. And some of my students are now work. As a matter of fact, this one on this side, was a past teacher, that's Miss Tanisha Slater. And there are many others that are abroad. Some have even taught their students who have moved on to high school and are also working. Now, some of these students that you're seeing here. And so it's, it's very critical for us to really work towards building early childhood education, not only in Jamaica, but throughout the world, because it's very important to give our children an early start. So what you're seeing here is pictures from the, uh, the building, transitioning from the one building to three smaller classrooms. And it was through the instrumentality of the Bluefish People's Community Association with CJMAS and Bluefields Villas that help us to have these three classrooms that you're seeing there, right? These students that you're looking at, at are all past students who have finished high school and are now in the working course as well. So we have Canada Jamaica Medical Assistance Society that have helped us with giving funding to help us to have those three classrooms. And so we were there for quite a while and the, a little space that we rented from a community member here through Miss Francis that had rented through her friend at that time. But the space wasn't big enough with what our dream and our vision is for early childhood development in Bluefields. And so we worked tirelessly with our various partners Bluefields Bay Fisherman Friendly Society. We have worked with Food for the Poor and we have worked with many other JAWORKs, CJMAS, Missouri State University, Eastern, Eastern Michigan University and many others which have helped us. And so in 2012, this new building that you're seeing now started and was completed in 2013. And we moved there for September 2013, our new state of the art building. And so we continue to work together to build on what was started by the late Francis Weatherburn. Some of our accomplishments over the period are, we have participated in the positive intervention support program 
on the island, one of the one to be exact, the only basic school in Jamaica that has participated in that program, which seeks to implement positive behavior change in our students. So we were one of the piloting school. We also participated in the piloting of the present curriculum that we are using now. One of the basic schools in Westmoreland that have participated in that program. And this curriculum that we're using today, we're saying that we were proud to be a part of that um, development. We also entered various competitions throughout the White House cluster participating in literacy competition where our children have been champion. We have participated in the White House cluster of basic schools, sports or athletics program, and we were champion. We have participated in also what we call little cricket or stool ball, and we're champions in those events. And so our school continue to strive and have worked tirelessly to have our children not only engage in academical performances, but also in extracurricular activities, helping our children to develop on a holistic level. So we know who are good at sports, who are good at mathematics, who are good at music, who are good at dancing and all those things.